I'm Brandon. And I'm Brandon. And I'm Comrade. Check this out. But you know what? Before you check out this episode, why don't you all open up your web browsers and go to coffeeandacomic.com where you could get... You can make a pool list. You can get this week's releases. You can get last week's. There's so much cool stuff in the vault over there. Uh, Frank is an amazing guy. And if you set up a pool list, he'll make sure you have every issue you want, the covers you want. And then when he ships it, you get coffee with your comics. It's brilliant. It's beautiful. And it comes in the mail. And you open your package. And then you have a bunch of stuff to read. And you have coffee ground and ready to go. Delicious, unique astonishing mouth-watering coffee for you to read your comics to and also he has a book club that you all can join and when you join that book club you get 35 percent off that issue's uh price so what are you guys waiting on what do you what are you still doing here go to that website sign up Just go say hi to frank for me and if you're still listening you get 10 percent off your order whenever you use our promo code apollo city podcast Maybe it's Apollo City Comics. Check the link in the bio, because if you're listening to this, there's a device in your hand, and the proper code isn't that. So why don't you head over there, get yourself some co- coffee in a comic. Yeah, dip your dip your comic in your coffee, take a bite, and enjoy the show. I'm Brandon. And I'm Brandon. And I'm Kamran from Sutra Side Talk. And welcome back, everybody. We are just coming back from a very extensive trip. You know, I thought Comic-Con was hard. But man, we just took out Florida. Well, I mean, we wish we took out Florida. Sorry, Florida. Damn. Um, but, what the hell? <laughs> but uh we just went to Disney and Universal and did a park a day. And you know what, guys? This is the first time since Comic-Con 2019 that my lovely co-host Brandon and I have hung out in person. Mostly due to COVID because we haven't visited each other, but like we have not sen- seen each other literally since we met. Yeah, literally. We didn't even see each other again after the first initial meet. It was just kind of like, oh. all right, later, we're going to go experience Comic Con now. I-, I think we did meet on a Sunday, though, where it was the last, was it the something last? like that. I don't or Saturday. Maybe it was Saturday, too. But yeah, yeah, we didn't even get to hang more at the con. We hung in a line to meet Todd McFarlane and that was for it. three hours. And you know what? Kamran had just finished talking to Brandon in that line and Kamran walked off. And this is that our hang at our little Disney trip that we're about to explode and talk about. That's the first time me and Kamran got to hang out in person. Isn't that insane? It was pretty crazy. It was weird with the idea of like when you sent me the selfie of you two, I was like, holy shit. Yeah, it's actually happening. Someone photoshopped us together. It was crazy. It was like, wow. (laughs) Right? It was, it, I mean, it, you know, it's kind of funny, like hanging out, you know, we, we pretty much have a virtual friendship, which is pretty rad. And we have a, you know, a pretty decent and successful podcast platform between us, you know, three or four, including Danny and whatnot. But it's crazy to like, even imagine like we've been doing this all through a computer screen yeah. for over a year, well, there's, there's, like a year and a half now. There's people that have done a lot with the same exact like format. I mean, there's bands that have existed by like making music remotely and sending the tracks yeah. to each other, and you know, so it is doable. So, and we've kept it going for practically two years now. I think a year and a half. Year and a half. As soon as July yeah. hits, or no, it, it is two years. Twenty nineteen September. <laughs> Oh, but oh yeah, a yeah. oh, friendship wise, yeah. I was thinking show, yeah. yeah, oh, yeah the no, show, no, no. friendship yeah, wise, like we, we all we kept in contact half, yeah. for uh, like we would just send each other random stuff between that time. Yeah, exactly. And uh, Kamran and I probably hit a year recently, and then Brandon and I have been you since know, August show for a year and a half. Fandom yeah. was our uh, meeting point, at pretty much. Oh God, yeah. another fandom's coming up too. Yeah, we, we <laughs> yo <laughs> next time on the <laughs> coast. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> Jim uh, Lee no, returns I, with us all. The thing was so like, was, oh, go ahead. I don't know. I was, I was say it was just cool, like the fact that we got to pull this off and yeah. not do it, you know. But the thing that was like getting me was like, I was kind of in shock the first like day and a half. It was, it, it was weird because like we saw each other, we like hugged and like said what's up and everything, and, like just shooting the shit. And I was like, we actually met up, and like I don't know, it was like I was almost sci- like. I was almost shocked to the point where I couldn't even like move in a way. I know. Yeah, it was weird. very surreal. Yeah. like super surreal. Like, and if I don't know, it felt super comfortable. Like that was the cool part. Like I think we've become so we we talk so much off show, 
like um if it was messages or we're just playing video games or we're just like hanging out on zoom talking about stuff mm-hmm. we've had like so many like meetings and whatnot about like our podcast that hanging out felt so natural like and i get what you mean because when i first saw camera and i was just like this is this feels right but i was just like wow this is Y'all noticed me in the airport very yeah. fast. I was like, "Oh shit, they see me. <laughs> they they, they never yeah. met me, but they see me already." My like radar went off. I was just like, boom, boom, boom. and I'm, you're just like there. Like, I lifted him, yeah, off the ground. I just want people to know that I lifted Brandon off the ground. He did. Oh He's please, funny. I carried drunk Brandon in the parking lot practically. Oh, I know, I saw that too. That was fantastic. <laughs> Those are yes. We we'll get there. Yeah, we'll get there. Um, <laughs> but, uh, the, but the, Brandon and I even met up, and we were both wearing like misfit shirts. I know we're like, in the same shirt. Right? So funny. <laughs> the it thing, was awesome. The other thing that got me was like the moment we saw each other. It was like dick and fart jokes for like the entire week immediately. Yeah, like, yeah. no hesitation. It was... <laughs> <laughs> Off the bat. Yeah. So you know, we wanted to have this episode to not only like kind of recognize how awesome like it was that we all got to hang out, and how crazy like you know you could do that in the world. You know, yeah, it's so much easier now. Like we made it happen. That much. Yeah, and. uh so honestly, this was my first time on amusement parks. Oh shit, that's uh, right. On rides and roller coasters. This was my first like I've I've gone to Comic Con and that's like it. Like that's <laughs> you know, like that's my big like event type of thing. And so these guys got to witness so much fear from me. <laughs> hey, but we did it. like five days. <laughs> Um, we hit up Disney and, you know, we had our, you know, our guiding light. We basically had a North star the whole time. Comron just like giving us the layouts and like times yeah. and like ways to position things and to navigate. It was like, oh man, this was dope. So yeah, let's kick it off. Disney day one. Well, um, let's say, let, let's say pre Disney day one, the arrival day when we went grocery shopping and Brandon bought everything in the store. <laughs> Hell yes. I thought, you know, I was thinking it'd be a lot like Comic Con where I'd come home and just be like, all right, well, you know, we got time to eat some food, you know, relax, and eat, and well, we have energy. Wrong. Wrong. Yeah. Wrong. We went, we went hard. We went so hard every single day. Yeah. Did you ever um, eat that pizza? Hell yeah. We ate that pizza oh, after you left. Okay. Yeah. I, I was like, there's no cashews in this cheese. Oh, hell yeah. I fucking yeah. ate like. <laughs> pretty, yeah. was, you know, for a pizza that was put together in like five minutes, it was pretty good. Yeah, 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 and then like I, I wish I would have had more like the night, the very last night because I was just like, oh man, yeah. But uh, pass out. no, let's talk about that night because that was the night where we were just kind of like it was like the pregame to the actual trip because we know we landed, we all met up, we did our like hugs and lows and you know we unpacked. did we go to the pool that night? Yeah, yeah we went. We kept night. going off. A, we kept night. literally going down a slide like eighteen times. Yeah. We felt. I was telling Brandon, I felt like I was at summer camp with my friends because we were like at the pool going down the water slide like 15 times over and over again. The dude like managing it like straight up was like one at a time. You guys need to slow down. Yeah, we were all just darting after Yeah, there's other. like no one in the pool. It was just us. <laughs> and so I, when I was like my first job ever, I was a lifeguard. Um, I don't know how I got that job. <laughs> really, to this just day, smoking a bowl at the lifeguard station. <laughs> you know? I've... I, I, I fell asleep like one point, but I would just yeah, watch him drowning. Away, so like, oh, like, is good. he asleep? <laughs> <laughs> just, oh, oh, let me get him. Um, but we, we used to like figure out ways to go down the slide faster, and we used to like use turtle wax to wax the slide. Oh, and, gnarly like, do all this man! Crazy stuff. And I was asking the lifeguard, and I like he didn't know about any of that. He's like, "Damn, dude, I gotta." I got to try some of this. And I was even saying like one of us would go down the slide and the other would run up it and we'd have to like dodge that person. We were like, I was like 16. I was oh, yeah. Fun. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, and the lifeguard got all hyped and whatnot when I was giving him all these ideas. And I was like, yeah, dude, <laughs> go, go, go have fun. But dude, I know how to like go down slides so quickly. Like I was just like, Whoo! and I was at the bottom already. It was, I remember ramping to the side and whatnot. Well, yeah, but uh, that was fun. Cause it was like, I, you know, I was still in like the shock and then it like finally hit me at the pool. We were actually hanging out in person and half naked, half naked bodies rubbing up, you know, <laughs> sharing water. Uh, but like it, that's when it hit me. Cause I was like, Holy shit, we're actually doing this. And that's when I like, I really got excited and you know, I, you weren't there Connor, Cause I think you were going down the slide or something, but I was telling Brandon, I was like, dude, this is amazing. Like we're, we made this happen. We're here. We're on vacation. We're at the resort and we're fucking swimming in a pool and chilling, you know? Yeah. It was insane. Like, 
It, it was super surreal the entire time. Yeah. Like, super crazy. And then, you know, we went grocery but, shopping, had some food, and then rested up for the day one. I think I was the only and... one not out of, like, any element because I was already traveling before this i was like in georgia so when i got here i was like yeah you know it's you know you do these things and you keep going <laughs> everyone's like freaking out and i'm like yeah and i'm like yeah i just went this guy for the first time but, you know I'm, I'm still like you know <laughs> just like playing it like regular <laughs> you're just like this is part two. yeah i'm like, just like yeah, yeah this is already gone <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm still i'm just going continuing it's but uh what was i gonna say yeah comrade was just internal like uh vacation mode for two weeks yeah, yeah. And you, you were already brutal and beat up by the time. We oh, got I was to a you. fucking tomato. Yeah. I was like a oh, half yeah, dip tortilla roasted. chip, sunburn. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you need to rub this aloe on my back, please. <laughs> hey, guess what? I rubbed that aloe on your back. It's true. <laughs> uh, felt great. But yeah, uh, day one was the Disney. It was uh, Hollywood Studios, right? It was Star Wars Land in Walt yeah. Disney Hollywood Studios. So, yeah, of course, our first thing we had to hit up. Because also, guys, I'm going to give you a little, let you in on a little secret. I don't think many of you know this. But uh, we went during the perfect time. Uh, It was a day after Labor Day. Yes. So we, like, nobody was, it wasn't nearly as bad at these parks as it apparently Oh, yeah, the horror stories of, like, the wait times and all that, that did not apply to us. And I think we've honestly stumbled upon, like, the sweet spot of vacationing a park. I I told you guys I was like I have never gone through all the rides at a park that fast in all like I I used to go with my family yearly to like Disneyland for like majority of my time and like all of this was incredibly fast compared to everything I'm used to you went during vacation conventional vacation times right like summer oh yeah break pretty much that shit right and uh, yeah so what are those times like Kamran like for the average go-getter a regular ride is probably a two hour wait. Jesus Christ. And then you try to time the fast passes back when they still were like a thing where you walk up to a little meter thing and you get a little piece of paper and it says, come back at this time with this card and you go, cool. And it's only for certain things. So like, that's how Disneyland used to work. Uh, And for this time, you know, they had suspended whatever version they had currently of that for the Disney parks. Mm -hmm. So we were going in going, oh, you're waiting the regular time. And it was easy as hell. Like the longest I think we waited was probably seventy minutes, and I'm like, "Child's play." That's that's hilarious. No, I don't remember and waiting over an hour for anything. I think it was well, one thing no, said seventy, for, but it was faster. But it felt like no, no. The only thing we waited that long for, which we we did wait around the seventy minute mark, but that was only at horror nights. Oh, that's um, true. Oh, that, that was the only that time. Random ass ha- house on Haunted Hill or whatever. Yeah, like, that house. was yeah. Yeah, we'll get to yes. that. To be honest. I'll, I'll but express I, my opinions it, on that later. <laughs> it was uh, 35, not even like maybe, you know, it, it said 35 minutes, but by the time you walk up all those ramps and you got to the line, it was like a 10 minute wait. Yeah, for we yeah. did like, literally everything and we didn't even have a fast pass or anything. No. And I do want to uh, say really the, fast, like I made sure like the, I strategized this whole layout of like which park on which day because I knew I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. Star Wars Land is going to be insane. Wednesday is the middle of the week. It's post Labor Day where everything's like all that stuff just happened, but it's before the next weekend. Put it right there and it'll be the best time to go. And it was without a doubt. Yeah. It, absolutely. And so, like it was Yeah, it was it was mind blowing that it was still packed, but it wasn't that packed. No. Definitely. It was like comfortable. Yeah. It was very, it was comfortable. very comfortable. Yeah. Uh yeah. not not comfortable for COVID reasons, but even then, they were was... still doing limited capacity. That was the crazy yeah, thing. Yeah, they were. That's yeah. the crazy part. Yeah. So it's like a combo uh, of weekday and COVID yeah, restriction thing. in terms it's, of numbers. Uh, mm-hmm. The thing I realized was because of COVID, um, so travel restrictions, uh, limitations on capacity, it was the middle of the week. So it's like a school week, conventional work week. So people are at school and work. And then on top of that, like you guys are saying, it's the post holiday. So it's like all these things combined. You're like, wow. like. This is the park when it's empty, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I think the only ride that we almost missed out on was Rise of the Resistance, but luckily we woke up at 7 a.m. to, like, hit that reservation pass. And that was, like, the most complicated thing to do, I feel. I was, like, I was, was worried because, like, I went on, I looked at it because I was the first one awake, and I'm looking at my phone, and it's like, you don't have 
uh, permission to do this. And I'm like, yeah, excuse Brandon me? Was the only one yeah, that, like, it, it. once we realized we were the only one, it was like, there was a slight time of like small panic because it was like oh crap we only now instead of five times cha- amount of chances to get it now we only have one but it worked perfectly yeah. and it was just like oh thank god it was that it was like a great time for us so the first thing we did we, when we got to disney um uh, hollywood studios we we're like all right formerly mgm we gotta start with star wars oh wow yeah it used to be called mgm studios um, mm. we did star wars land and that was galaxy's edge so that I mean, that's the best thing to tackle, I would say, because nothing else is going to fill up like this one. Oh, yeah. And we did Star Tours, which was the coolest thing ever. That was my first, Dude, like, ride. Star like, Tours was... Oh, sorry. It was just, like, it was your first, like, theme park ride. It yeah. was my first time stepping foot in any Disney park, and I know yours and Tiana's as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, like, we started with Star Tours, which was always, like, the butt of jokes in, like, pop culture about Disneyland mm-hmm. and Star Wars, which was Star Tours for some reason. And it was, like, always that thing that was at, Star- like, at Disney that everyone talked about. And, like, when we were on it and, like, the seatbelts came off, I was like, holy shit, we're actually here. We're actually at Disney World and we're fucking, we did Star Tours, you know? Yeah, and we didn't get was... in that booth, thank fucking God. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> fucking didn't want to do You know, I did... I feel like Star Tours was great, but it set up expectations I didn't get for the rest of Star Wars Land. Um, Star Tours gave you a very nice little like mixture of every trilogy, and fucking Galaxy's Edge is just the Disney trilogy, which you know we all we all understood after yeah. a bit, and we all got like, okay, this is the one they made, this is the one that you know they have the most licensing to, and they could do more with whatever. But I was like. And we got to see stuff from like the Clone Wars and like we were in Endor for a minute. Like it did all this cool stuff. And then you walk in and you're like, oh, that's that's the only like. Yeah, but like you get. here's the thing, regardless of how you feel about the prequel, the standard or the sequel trilogy, like, you know, regardless if you hate or love those films, you don't give a fuck once you're there. Once you're yeah, in you there, really you're don't. like, you're, you're like, yeah, I, I fucking love Star Wars, you know. Like, it wasn't that wasn't like a realization until like I was like ending the day and be like, hey, wait a minute, and then you look, <laughs> yeah, you look to, to me you're like, yeah. Yeah. Was there. <laughs> yeah, but like, yeah, you just like, I don't give a shit. You're like, fuck yeah, Disney, take my money. Like, let's do this. Yeah. You know? like, oh, and did Disney take our money, oh, guys? Yeah, it we went all out in freaking Star Wars land. We all got lightsabers. Hell yeah! How can you miss out on that moment? Yeah. Um, you, it was an amazing ceremony, which you had to pick from certain handles, and we all kind of chose almost the we same. Ch- we we all chose. Had. Didn't we all three of us choose uh, elemental, elemental nature? Yeah, elemental. And then yeah. uh, yeah. uh, Kato, Tiana, and myself, we all got uh, purple lightsabers. Purple. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> What color did you get coming? We, we, both, we both got the exact same. We like got the same exact parts of the lightsaber, and we both got green. So literally, it was just oh. everyone was purple and green. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was like, hell yeah, I want the Mace Windu mm-hmm. lightsaber. I bought all the other crystals Guard. after. I was like, oh, of course I'm gonna get all the other crystals. I'm gonna switch it to blue when did, I want yeah. to, you know. Yeah, and that was the other thing too. I think what puts you in the buying mode at Galaxy's Edge is it feels like they've crafted it to look like Tatooine or whatever, and like yeah, you know, the environment yeah. was mind-blowing dude and, and then you're in that like humidity so you're sweating no matter what so it just feels like you know you're on an alien planet yeah, yeah the, the, then, the, the imagineer team did a fantastic job they were wonderful <laughs> and then yeah, they really were um the rise of the resistance ride like i don't give a shit if you hate the like sequel trilogy you're gonna love that shit oh but, it was fantastic yeah. it, it yeah, was like it a was... walk through ride through experience that you just kind of like it, you yeah. just experience it. It's so interesting the way they have it laid out. Uh, yeah. From they, the story structures behind it all. Yeah. You know what I mean, they gave you stories behind everything, and they got you really invested in every ride. And I think that's what I, I admired the most is that you felt like you were there. And uh, it's funny the Rise of the Resistance one. You go into the you know you're part of this rebel group, and you go into this like kind of rebel ship, and you're just kind of looking at this Admiral Akbar like character, and he's Lieutenant like, Smackbar. That, and, <laughs> Lieutenant Smackbar cereal. Um, do you remember that Robot Chicken skit, Admiral Akbar cereal? <laughs> oh <laughs> shit, that's right. <laughs> I think it's part of the like the movie, right? It's, yeah, the Robot Chicken. Ro- yeah, uh, Star Wars special. Um, <laughs> but there was a moment there when we were on that. I was like, "Is this the fucking ride?" Because it lasted yeah, so long. It just keeps going. <laughs> just just like, kind of Where to next? 
You're just like, I can't really see yeah. anything. And then, dude, after that, I mean, that blew my mind in general. But, like, you're, you're kind of like, okay, is this, are we going to get let off and that's it? But um, it totally just takes off. Man, that ride was the coolest thing. And there was a moment, like, where I, where I almost wanted to tear up because I was like, I'm on a Star Wars ride. Like, something yeah, I would see dude, as, like, a kid. Like, when we were on that, like, pod thing that, like, helps you escape the, like, Empire's base, like, I almost, I was tearing up because I was like, this is happening. We're here. I got you to, know, like, I got to watch both of you just react because it, it was a combo of watching you both because it was like, <laughs> one, you both have never been to a Disney park before in your lives. Two, it's Star Wars for you both. And it's like, I, I've been to Star Tours so many times. It was my first time going to Black Spire Outpost. So I was enjoying myself too. But I'm also like, I guess after like going to parks, like with family and stuff my whole life, I'm like sort of used to a lot of it. And uh, I'm like, oh, cool. You know, I really enjoy this. I'm really having a great time. I'm smiling and having an enjoyment. But I'm like watching you too. And I'm just like, oh my God fucking loving it they're they're yeah. children right now they are it they're like their childhood's just caught up to them and it's just hitting them right now yes it was, yeah, it was so 100%. beautiful to watch. yeah it was it was literally like i felt like a kid in the good way where i was just like in, in the sense where like i felt like everything was good in the world right like right it just hits you, just, you. you uh, everything was just so totally, totally spaced out when we we're in these areas because you're just so consumed by it and when we got and go in the when we got to go in the millennium falcon that is like another spot like where i just like lost my shit like walking up to it i think that might have been our longest wait at disney that wasn't even that bad itself. that was pretty easy and it wasn't yeah Still under we're going an hour. Through it. i think the longest yeah, was, was uh the navi ride in pandora no i think uh well you guys didn't wait long really but the uh hagrid one Oh right! Oh, yeah. oh I that didn't one wait at all. So <laughs> I yeah. literally, yeah, walked, yeah, literally did, walked through, and yeah. I was like, "Oh, cool." <laughs> we'll get to that. I, uh, yeah, we'll get to that. Yeah, I think you know the the Millennium Falcon was like a thirty minute wait. Yeah, for sure. But um, um which probably is. Very I think short for that for day, that was the worst. Yeah, one. which um, usually is probably yeah. twenty times worse. Honestly, I was like, yeah. "That's so short for a Star Wars ride." Even Star Tours, when we we were going straight to Star Wars land and we literally walked by Star Tours, looked over and it's like five minutes. And I'm like, how the fuck is this five minutes? And it yeah, was like, oh, let's like, just walk yeah, in. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, yeah. what, when has it ever been five minutes for me to go through this goddamn Dude, ride? I, I wish I had like a I wish I had like a GoPro just to like record the entire experience, just to prove we really didn't wait that long. <laughs> like, <laughs> Seriously, but um, that's. Oh, no, I was going to say the other thing, too, was like we didn't wait to build the lightsaber. Really, we didn't wait to get food. We didn't wait for building the droids. It was like all just immediately happening when we were there. Oh, have you guys downloaded the app? Yeah, I did. For your droid? I, I have Dude, it downloaded. I droid. haven't opened it yet. Oh, man, you can make your droid dance and do all this stuff. It's a little oh, cool. I, got the, it's actually... I bought the jetpack online because I missed out on that. Oh, And yeah. I attached it to the droid. Dude, it's okay, guys. If you go, you have to build a droid. You yeah. may not be interested when it, you first think about it, but do it. Yeah, it's so it cool. is the coolest. Be prepared thing to spend three hundred dollars on a lightsaber and a droid. Just you know, just yeah, know you're I, gonna do it. But it's a one time thing. Like you can always get more if you want, but the 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 most common person is gonna get these things once. And yeah. once you, yeah. if you go back again, you're not making that big ass purchase again. You're just gonna and, keep buying blue milk yeah. a lot, probably. The other thing is too is like uh, kind of it's kind of like. <laughs> I feel like Gato and Brandon did this, like what Tiana and I did. Like we each got something, but kind of like a variation of it. So like oh, yeah. when we got the droids, I got the R series unit and she got the BB unit. And mm. it's kind of cool because when you put them next to each other, they both interact uniquely in their own ways with each other. Mm. And, all, you know, she got a certain type of lightsaber. I got a certain type of lightsaber. So like when we like mess around and kind of like, you know, do the whole sword fight with them, it's like, yeah. you know, two different lightsabers. So if you're going with your partner, you know, like that's the best opportunity to like just get multiple things, but like variations, you know. Yeah, because when we got the lightsaber and I saw Gatos, I was like, "Damn, I really like this one. Like, I wish I would have made one like this." And I was like, "Oh wait, no, we live together. We're good." Yeah, I got exactly. It. <laughs> that was know, all they, I they could yeah. both be displayed together like that. Uh, um, yeah, we only got we we sh we shared a droid, so that's the cool part. Uh, that's that's what we ended up doing, but we ended up going a little crazier, like in other spots, because we just, um, so you guys have more control in Harry Potter stuff than we did. <laughs> I'm just not that, we'll get like, to that right now. of a Harry Potter fan. But, I already, uh, I already did say, my dig on that. Uh, yeah. Uh, the thing with uh, 
other stuff outside of Galaxy's Edge was uh, I was so mad because Comron always hypes up Aerosmith. Like I'm like Comron, they're just like an okay band. No offense to anybody who likes Aerosmith like that. And like Steven Tyler. <laughs> we get on the Aerosmith roller coaster, and that shit kicked ass. Like, <laughs> man, that that like okay. Well, before we go into the right part, um, Galaxy's Edge, we also got to do the Cantina. Oh, that's right. It which was like was a, those drinks. Amazing. Holy, I I can't wait to go back to the can. Like, yeah, I like Star Wars I Land and the ride. I honestly, I'm more excited to go back to the Cantina than the rides themselves, just because it was yeah. just so much fun hanging out there easily the drinks were yeah awesome. dude that was like they the best so iced dope. coffee i've ever had in my life that was a really good iced coffee but all the drinks yeah, there was... and then i want that i want that indoor i, I held oh, off yeah. on it but there was like an easy thing where i made all the big crazy purchases this time around and if i go like when i go back again the only things i really want is like that endor mug and the jedi robe and i'm good i'm like that's like two little oh, things and I'm, I'm that's all i need yeah and you can get that in anaheim yeah you can get it at either park for so, sure oh cool that's cool. Uh, the cantina was like one. Yeah, it was just it was perfect. It was like the night, right time to relax a yeah. little bit and like you know kind of refresh and whatnot. And they just had you weren't like buying drinks as much as you were buying like merchandise. You know what I mean? Like I was only buying stuff because it was related to like the way it was labeled. It was marketed so well. Mm-hmm. Like I literally would have had one of every drink just to like be like oh I got the Jedi mind trick and I like all this stuff. Yeah, know? and it all tasted um, good. Yeah, I didn't have a bad drink, yeah. and the production I, design yeah. of it was amazing. You're looking up, you're looking around. Uh, it feels like you're in, you know, a cantina. <laughs> and for the OG Star Tours fans, before they did the big change, uh, if you miss Rex, the pilot for the uh, Star Tours ride, he is now a DJ in Oga's Cantina, so you can see him there. Uh, yeah. So that's pretty fun. That's cool. That's super cool. But uh, yeah, it was nice because we were winding down. We had a toast, you know, to finally making the trip happen and being with each other. And uh, the only problem was like we thought it served food and it only had like snacks. Yeah, we had like chips and whatnot. So be careful of that because you very deceiving there. Yeah, because it makes it seem like it's a restaurant. Yeah, yeah, like it like and apparently too i don't know people might not know this maybe they do know this but we didn't know that you could book your reservation for dinner 60 days in advance of, in, of your which trip. may yeah. have and caused some annoyances yeah uh, but it's, yeah. it's not like you know the trip was in september it's not like in june i was like all right guys we're gonna go to this at 4 p.m you know like it didn't yeah, yeah we also like, didn't I, know really it was like yeah, oh shit what it's not really advertised <laughs> yeah well, we did a heads up to everyone, you do have to reserve your slot to make your lightsaber and your droid. So we got that ahead, so yeah. Yeah, and Tiana yeah. took care of that for us, which was amazing because it was all yeah. set up, and we were able to plan our day around that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because if you miss which, it, they charge your credit card. Oga's Cantina, yeah, and though, that's thing. we got lucky because we kept going yeah. by, and we're like, can you, can you let us go inside? And he's like, yo. And they're like, two-hour wait, two-hour wait, and then we got in in like 40 minutes. Yeah. We just yeah. kept coming back. Yeah. We, we didn't even like wait yeah. at the spot. We literally like talked to them. They were really cool, really chill. We left, and then we looked. We we're like, "Oh, look at the time!" And we ran back in, and they're like, "Sure, go right in." We're just like, "Oh, thank you, thank you so much." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I wanted to slip a dollar in their like jacket or something. Yeah, like, for the don't let the yeah. don't let the first order take this. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> so after that, that's when once we got our full satisfaction of, uh, you know, Star Wars and Galaxy's Edge, and we were loaded with stuff. Um, we started making our way around the park throughout that time too while we did some waiting uh we checked out the muppet show which was amazing perfect timing muppets. too okay, by the way we went to the bathroom perfect. yeah that's right yeah and then we turned around like oh it's a 10 minute wait and we just walked right in like didn't even wait and uh we got seats for that so that was a blast i'm a big muppets fan so that was just too cool uh we also hit up some of the shops around there which were really interesting um the tower of terror yeah, all the diners that we wanted to go to all the food were just you were packed so you had to kind of settle with whatever was okay. next time the the oh. i'm so sorry i wanted to show you guys so badly the sci-fi diner and we oh, couldn't yeah, that was do it on my list i really thought i i wanted to see it i had it pre-planned now we know list. 60 days in advance we can go there yeah. well whenever we plan our <laughs> anaheim trip we could definitely like really like pinpoint the mm-hmm. times for sure. yeah. like which that. i'm curious if that's a that's the thing i'm because they only implemented this post covid i don't know if this is only during this time or if it's going to be like that now from now on it, oh if they're just like this system works like yeah it makes it works, easier this yeah yeah so less disgruntled people i guess you know exactly I mean? more satisfied yeah 
That would make sense. I mean, it's a smarter system, especially the pickup options. You would just order food off your phone and then just walk up and pick it up. Yeah, it's amazing. It was too cool. Yeah. No lines, no nothing. Uh, the food at Star Wars was pretty great, too. Like, it was really refreshing at that um that little, like, Tatooine outpost thing. We had the, had. the yeah. mouse droid. The mouse yeah. droid. Yeah. Uh, the, what was it? Pork, I, pork rinds? Yeah, you, you get yeah. pork rinds. I was like, oh, yeah, I want this. <laughs> I more so yeah. got it for the mouse droid that I didn't need, but I was like, oh, boy, a mouse droid. Yeah. <laughs> and just kept yeah, and let, let me tell you that, like, I, I know Disney has a certain reputation to uphold, but the that, like, bleeds into everything. So, for instance, uh, I, you know, when we were going on this trip, I was like, concerned for brandon about like if they're gonna have vegan options because i was like i don't know it's a theme park i know like people will accommodate but theme park isn't really the best place to get like decent food oh yeah 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 and disney and actually, yeah killed it with that dude on yeah because i me and my uh my fiance now uh are vegan so we were just wondering if like oh man are we gonna have to like just get scraps like kind of you know french fry and like you know sides yeah. the whole time but at disney dude disney was gold like there was meals everywhere and it was all decently priced very filling uh great stuff all the way around there i was i was so happy at disney yeah reversal yeah. was a little tougher because i really wanted harry potter stuff but harry potter was super scarce on that yeah you gotta eat but, meat uh, here in universal <laughs> at the hogwarts <laughs> but uh the thing that was crazy was i asked a question about the pork rinds because like there's certain things in food i just won't go near or like eat because mm -hmm. even on vacation i'm like yeah i don't need that in my system uh, yeah. i was like hey is this certain ingredient in this and the guy called the chef over and the chef came and like gave me the ingredients and how they cook the pork rinds and all that yeah and you know I'm you're absolutely right about that i at forgot the you guys are this, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah no no not at all like uh we, we were at the cantina we we're wondering if one of the food options because there was like two food options and we were just wondering if it was vegan or not and then the guy was like hey he yeah you're just like with you he brought somebody out with an active ingredient list yeah and he was like one of the cooks and he was like oh this one of these chips has egg in it and we'll, we don't, we'll just take that out but is everything else cool and like we knew what was in our food yeah the entire exactly. time so this is Damn, like so you guys know this is something they've always done as a kid going with my family my mom is celiac she can't eat anything with wheat or gluten so i we were used to just going there and she would ask all the time chef would come out every time and just talk and let us know and she'd be good to go after it's that reputation. And that's even like, when I was a kid. Yeah. And that service everywhere was just top of the line. Like, I could not believe how nice people were, how willing to help and answer any questions, make sure you were good. Dude, I spilled one of my drinks. Like, I turned, oh, at, in the cantina, I, like, knocked it over because it was a super oh, tall yeah, glass. Yeah, yeah. It was plastic and it kind of rocked. And, uh, like, I had already drank most of it, but uh, the guy just gave me a new one. Like just yeah. Just Except for that dude behind you, came over. He's like, "Oh, one of those sixteen stars. You better wash <laughs> yeah. yourself." And that and that goes to show with Disney. You know, they are expensive and they are this huge corporation. But there's a standard they uphold. There a sta there's a standard with them, and they mm -hmm. don't play around. If you consider, and yeah. this is like a general statement about how they're handling COVID. Uh for a theme park, and you know, for you know, for where we're at, I was wasn't sure how they were gonna handle like covid restrictions and they were like yeah. really for the most part on top of it at least indoors every time they would go like someone didn't have it on they'd call them out immediately very yeah. quickly and i'm yeah. like damn this is actually more than san francisco's stuff sometimes you yeah know? like exactly. they were doing I, I felt so safe at disney and then there was hand sanitizer stations everywhere. everywhere okay i'm not someone that poops in public places or like when i'm on trips but those Disney bathrooms were so clean. Like I pooped so much. Like I was just like I feel so cozy. Like this is yeah. I, this is he sparkling. Pooped a lot. Like, I did. He it did was a lot of walking. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> Tara of Terror. Uh, no. How did you guys feel oh, about that? Yeah, Tara of Terror was cool. I I thought it would be more, but maybe it'd be scary. Fuck that ride. All right. So that was the first ride I, I loved. Went on, his all right? fear. And I loved the Twilight Zone for one. So I got myself hyped up for the Twilight Zone. And then you know we started the ride. And I was like, oh, you know what? This ain't bad. This is pretty chill. I could dig this. Like, I don't see why it's going to be so scary and high. And I'm not someone who's, I don't like heights. I like, I have like a healthy fear of heights. You know what I mean? Like, um, and it just, oh, dude, that was my first ride, guys. And I was scared. I was clutching, clutching Kato's arm, like to the point where my head was barreled. I know, I saw in the picture. And I was just like 
God. And then I was just afterwards, I was just like shaky. I was like, man, fuck that. It was that. great. Like, they I took pictures I after it. I got to see your face or the, the lack <sighs> there of it because it was hiding. There, you, you could barely see. Yeah. You could yeah. see the clenching of my skin and then me just latched onto Gato the whole I time. I love that ride so much. The time of my life. Yeah. You like that one, Brad. You're confusing that, I think, with the Doctor Doom. No, the what's it called? It was good, but like I thought there'd be more. No, for sure. I mean, at least it wasn't. It was better than Doctor Doom, though. Oh, Doctor Doom. <laughs> Doctor sucked Doom ass. fucking sucks. I, I would not ride that shit again. Ever again. I would. I, yeah. I feel like I could have done Doctor Doom now. instead of. Oh yeah, time, yeah, because you're not doing it. anything. <laughs> you're just. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, that's just but, you going uh, back down further. Yeah, Tower of Terror was awesome. The aesthetic and the whole setup is cool. Yes, um, super cool. I love the, like, you're walking through and it's the Twilight Zone, like, intro. You know what I mean? Yeah. All the props from that come out at you. Uh, that was dope. Uh, very interesting. It was just a cool scare for me. I was just freaked out. And then we hit up the Harrow's, the Harrow Smith. Smith. <laughs> I mean, it is the 80s. <laughs> the Har- you know, you yeah, the Harrow <laughs> Smith. Um, uh, roller coaster, which was, it's indoor. It's just, like, a single track. And that... I like since I was so tense from Tower of Terror, I didn't know what to expect, and it was so fast. Damn, yeah, that thing was and it fast. blasts Aerosmith music in your fucking ears. Yeah. I may <laughs> Steven Tyler just. I may have forgotten because everyone asked me like, "Is there is there like loops and crazy stuff?" And I'm I'm like, "No, nah, I think it's like just really fast and you go straight, and then it's not." <laughs> and I'm like, "What?" I'm just in there having a great time, and in the back of my head going. I may have been a little wrong when I told them that, and they're on this ride right now. <laughs> and I just remember after, I'm like, well, I was 12. I don't know what you want from me. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it, that one freaked me out too. That was really fast and like, it was really intense. But I feel like those were perfect starters to like rides. Like, it kind of just kicks your ass out. That's a, that one's a tearjerker, yeah. literally, because you actually yeah. feel oh, your dude, tears the wind, coming. It goes so fast. Yeah, the wind kills your eyes. That's great. Mm-hmm. It's so uh, great. I don't remember any other. I remember we went to like the Pixar area where there's Toy Story. We went on like that kid ride with the aliens. And then the like, rains oh, come. Hey. Yeah, yeah, so the Toy Story rides were dope. And they had a roller coaster we didn't get to go on because it was raining. But I really, I, I had a blast at the Toy Story ride. I kicked your asses. In the oh, fucking yeah, toy story, right? Yeah. Oh, did. there's the Dude. other one too, where you like you like shoot targets or whatever. Yeah, I yeah, I went so much ham fun. on that. I went. Yeah, and y'all are like, yo, we got teams, we got this, and I'm like, I'm riding solo, fucking just like. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that was that was such a fun ride. I had a blast on that. But then, okay, so we we put away our ponchos right before then because we're like it's the last hour let's just put everything away to make it easy we'll try to get on something you know twice do our doubles and get out of here and toy story was it it ended real fast for us uh <laughs> but it was like the end of the night too it was like nine or eight thirty or something so it was pouring rain um and we had to make our way across the park to the lockers and figure out how to carry droids and lightsabers and like other little merchandise and like all of like our we got blue milk so we had like the jugs for them and the green milk was i never got to get the Uh, green milk because the rain i felt like i was the only one that didn't like the milk i don't drink sugary drinks so i was just kind of like that was cool i wanted more i I like that that sweet tooth would like yeah right yeah i wanted more of that it was so good um but that was a whole other part of that night was just handling the florida rain was crazy Crazy, oh god dude, so like... no let's preface with we went on that toy story ride where you shoot the targets it's like a shooting range kind of little game ride thing and we walked out and everyone's bunched up at the exit because it's pouring rain and we were like holy shit we have droids on us and lightsabers and i was like oh i have a poncho and i pulled it out and i put it on over everything and well that was the thing it started raining <laughs> we're like oh maybe it'll go away because it rained earlier and then it yeah. fucking poured like showers. Yeah. My all it our shoes just are soaked. Worse. And... God. We were drenched. We were so drenched. It, ruined, it was just a mess. It did ruin the night because it kind of rushed us out of there. Yeah, it, it did yeah, we didn't get us, to really yeah. hit up. If we, if we would have just had thirty more minutes, we would have done. It would have been perfect. Actually. Yeah, but, uh, but the problem was we were, we ran into the store after everybody got their ponchos and Brandon had to buy Tiana and I our ponchos because I didn't, couldn't find my wallet and. It was just so wet. Yeah. Like, you were, all of us were just like, what's going on? Like, I'm from the desert. I'm in El Paso, Texas, dude. It does not rain like that here. Like, I'm like, it'll rain a little bit, but... And even, I guess, for San Francisco, that was intense. We don't get rain. What do you mean? We don't... We get, like, oh, drizzle. We get droughts. Oh, okay. 
But yeah, you're like us then. Yeah, the problem was we all had this merch and we're like trying to run to the Uber in the rain. I remember just holding two droids up to my chest with like a poncho trying to cover it. I like, talked oh to mine. These get if these got soaked, I would like cry. And then like the lightsabers were getting wet and soaked and we were like wandering aimlessly trying to find the uber pickup and it was honestly a horrible experience at that point yeah yeah it got rough it got rough real fast for us from like and you know it's our first day it was it was the hottest day on the trip too yeah so we were but which was kind of good because it kind of prepped us to kind of get ready for the next you guys got a crash course which was funny like i i was talking about it before like i was i was used to this like I, i i had lived in savannah went to school there for four years so i'm used to like the rain going on and off or they're in crazy storms where you're just like well i have an extra pair of clothes because i knew this was going to happen and stuff like that oh, and uh yeah coming here and i was like oh yeah yeah it seems like it's like hurricane season and everything else should be yeah, it makes sense <laughs> you know? I'm just like I like I, I just wanted I do want to say like I just went with the flow of like everything yeah, with the weather through. It, the weather was fine. It's just I don't want to carry two droids and a lightsaber in a thunderstorm. Yeah, well, pff, no, the weather wasn't fine. Oh yeah, it well, every... it sucks Fuck still. But it would have been easier to handle. Yeah, no, for sure. That was just a it was just a crazy moment, and it was it was fun. I don't know. I I kind of like I was laughing at it. I was really annoyed, but yeah, uh, in retrospect, you're like it, yeah. You're like, oh, that was hilarious. I was but laughing while I was, like, while I was there in the middle of it. I was like, yeah, <laughs> floor. Yeah, I, cause at first I was using like a shirt to cover me. My shirt. Oh, you guys in like, your Hawaiian yeah, shirts. shirts. I was cracking up yeah. with that. You guys just had these soaked ass fucking Hawaiian shirts. And and it was like, it worked at first. And I was like, oh, this is perfect. I'll be fine. And then like five steps into it, I was just, the shirt was drenched. And it was just like puddling water more on top of me. I think yeah. it was funny. I served but... as like a messenger for a bit because we were separated it was like you and Kato were at the lockers and Brandon, you and Tiana were like at a, a fake bus stop, practically like a little overpass thing that was, oh, you guys yeah. were under. So I'm like running back and forth going like, and just, I'm the only one with the poncho. So I'm like, well, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And then it's like, we're running to the next person. Be like, we're going to go to the store here. And then it's just like directing yeah, we were everyone. Just trying to get our phones out and be somewhere somewhat where we could take them out to be dry. And it was, it was, a cra- it was crazy. And I can't even describe how much rain that was. Cause it was so immense for me, but but that was Disney day one. Yes. Yeah. That was that day was, one. We went pretty hard on the first day, as you can tell. Pretty it hard. was like literally opening to closing. We went hard the first two days because then we went to Universal Studios and that was a rough day, honestly. The yeah, the second day is kind of a blur to me. Well I wonder why. Um, I felt bad. Well, first of all, Tiana was like sick from the moment she woke up. Mm, yeah, that's right. She yeah. got some sort of food poisoning, so that was rough because she basically threw up like multiple times at the park and just wasn't in the zone and you know it was hard because you're at a theme park trying to like trek through Mm -hmm. everything through that heat and all yeah and i was glad that she was able to experience the harry potter stuff and still feel okay but it was after that that's right yeah diagon alley diagon alley is where we kicked it off uh that took me a second to remember it was like all mixed together um damn yeah so diagon alley was i was so hyped walking in there i was too excited i was so it was crazy seeing all that and then the green got right honestly it was pretty crazy the girls though the uh, girls reacted like you two did so for star wars land the way you two reacted tiana and Kato reacted the same way walking into diagon alley yeah basically mm-hmm. they did they were we had to control them we were just like hey hey pay attention this i'm way. just like been there done that because i it was like 2016 when i went on graduation i had already gone through this i went to these two parks for universal and that's when i went on my spree i was like there goes like three hundred dollars i bought a fucking robe a marauder's map and i'm coming back so i'm like i'm post buying stuff and everyone's just rushing around stuff so i'm just enjoying watching everyone else now just like oh my yeah. god it was it was great yeah i was happy that everyone was loving it it was just personally i was just like yeah i like harry potter you know <laughs> i was like oh, i was i was so hyped i was so excited. a wand in I one hand a like, lightsaber in the other it's every kid's basically. dream it was it was great yeah and I, I i've become a really big harry potter fan especially over this year um just knowing i was going here for the trip so I don't know, we were we recently were watching most of the movies. I started reading the books. I've never read them before. So it was really cool and exciting. The Harry Potter rides um, are very unique too cuz they do a great job of introducing like a full on like you're experiencing watching something 
but also you're moving through a ride, there's practical effects, so it's like a whole combination of different things you're going through as you're going through this ride, and it's like, it's as if you're going through an entire thing when it's really a very small area, but they make you feel like you're just in a grand location. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It felt so massive, so massive. And it, it, I wish we could have gone on Gringotts twice. Like, that's my only regret is that it was such a cool ride that it, it deserved you, uh, it, a second I think time. it goes through, like, an underground tunnel system that has, like, the screens projecting everything. Yes. So the, the yeah. coaster you're on is just kind of, like, going through it all. They do the same thing uh, for both that and the uh, Hogwarts, uh, the Forbidden Journey through Hogwarts yeah. as well. Um, but that was great because like, it was like that hit me realizing we, that was exclusive to Orlando. Like, holy shit. You have to travel across the country to see this thing. And we specifically, yeah, specifically Diagon Alley. It's not, I checked, um, so Universal Hollywood only has Hogsmeade and I've been to both. Like, I'm like, yeah, okay. Uh, I checked the other ones too. Uh, Tokyo is where the other Universal Park is and they only also Mm -hmm. have Hogsmeade. Diagon Alley is uh, only in Florida. Oh, yeah. So I was like, dang. you know, if we ever come back, we definitely have to do this again. But yes. what was cool is, you know, they do this at all the theme parks. And Diagon Alley, they do this thing where like all the shops from the books and movies are like real shops for you to go in. Like, yeah, actually... they're designed just like they are described in the stories, and you go there to buy the things that they sell within the stories. Yeah, pretty much, you know, and that's what that's what captivated me so much. It was just, you know, especially when I got home and I watched one of the Harry Potters. I think it was like the fifth one or something, and that's where you see the candy shop and like the, um, the prank store. That's where I was just like, damn, I was, I was there. Like it just it really takes you away. Um, and just like Simpsons Land, that was the next one right over. Uh, damn, Simpsons Land was oh, so Simpsons was so good. So and cool. to keep you waiting like, while you're waiting, they just play clips of different episodes and it yeah. keeps you occupied, especially where you're going. Like if you're in the ride, they just have random stuff. If you're uh, waiting for food, they actually have food related clips from the episodes, too. Mm-hmm. And it just all matches and works so well. So you don't feel like you're annoyed when you're waiting. And going to Moe's Tavern. Oh, and yeah. All that stuff. Like, yeah. All it the was... restaurants from the TV show, the donut shop, the uh, Quickie Mart. Uh, it's all Man, the like. Quickie Mart was dope, too. It, it's funny because, like, in order to, like, match the Simpsons style, everything looked bigger for some reason. Yeah. 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 yeah it definitely did. Yeah. Out of everything else there, it was much more exaggerated than, say, like, Harry Potter or something like that. Um, when it's really just it was but, Moe's Tavern and Krusty Burger, which was just a combo bar restaurant, and then uh, yeah. Duff That's Gardens. Perfect setup. Yeah, it, it was like perfectly set up because everything's connected, but they all look like separate buildings from outside. And then Duff Gardens mm-hmm. had like the little outside drinking area, and then you had the Cookie Mart where you wanted to get all the merchandise and the uh, like donuts and stuff, which are massive, yeah. worth it. Yeah, that was cool. I, that uh, almost whole thing it was great. Man, what else was at that park? We rode the Fast there. Nine ride. <laughs> oh my God, Comron's number one. Yeah, they tricked that me. They it. tricked me with that ride. I, I was like, wait a minute, I've been on this at the Hollywood Backlot tour. <laughs> they took. Well, yeah, we, there was that ride. There was the Transformers one. I feel like one. Fast and the Furious was the cheesiest ride. Oh, it was incredibly I cheesy. I feel like. You know, I fell asleep during the Shrek thing. Oh, the but, Shrek 40. Uh, how do you? How dare you fall asleep during Shrek 40? Blast but it was me. still better than Fast and the Furious. Like it was still so much more. Amazing. Fast and Furious. I just want to uh, say real fast. The uh, if you go on the Hollywood Backlot tour in the Hollywood studio, it's like a full on like you go through all the sets and stuff. But they sh- they do that whole Fast and Furious portion in the middle of that tour. And I'm thinking, oh, this is a brand new ride they made for Fast and Furious. And I'm like, wait a minute. They literally just took that small portion of the tour and made that into an entire ride. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, okay, damn it. You got uh, me. What else? There's the Transformers ride that was really dope. That it's was just like dope. watching Optimus Prime fight like Megatron, basically, while you're a Transformer recruit or something. You're, yeah, you're like riding yeah. inside of a Transformer trying to get yeah. the AllSpark. And then... uh. So that was- that had no weight either. We no, wa- we, uh, we, we waited blasted like through it. Five minutes. That was yeah. a that was a joke. Well, I before that, the last time I was on that ride, that was an hour and a half. Yeah, you told me oh that, and I was gosh. like, oh hell no. I was like, yeah, man, yeah. this is what I'm used to, bro. 
No Yo, the mummy dude. ride though. Uh, okay, let me just say the Universal Studios stuff. It's all like interactive rides that are like 4D movies, basically. Yeah, it's pretty much. Really... They had one roller coaster. That, oh yeah, uh... Comer and I gotta talk about that roller coaster. But, but... yeah, also Rise of the Resistance. Uh, you could tell it took influence from the Harry Potter rides because that came after. And yeah. uh, oh. you can tell, like, the, they started that new trend of, like, oh, combine all these different platforms together for this ride. And then you see yeah. that kind of evolved in Rise of the Resistance as well, which was really cool. But that makes sense. the mummy. That one's awesome. Ooh, that one is that's... also that that's taken from Disney as well. Um, for those that don't know, if you go to Disneyland, there's a ride called Indiana Jones and the Temple of the Forbidden Eye. The Mummy's Revenge oh. is the exact same thing, just now mummy themed instead of Indiana Jones themed. Which, oh, it, and that one's exclusive wow. to Orlando as well, right? Uh, that one is in both. That one's in all of them. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, that was dope. That, that was scary. That ride was awesome. That was yeah. entertaining. It was fast. It was everything. It was it was a really crazy. Yeah. I, I had to. That's why I was like, I was afraid because when we were trying to get there, they were setting up for Horror Night, and I'm like, we can't not go on this ride, like you guys have to see this ride until you get to Disneyland and get to Temple of the Forbidden Eye. Like, this is what you need to do. Yeah. Oh, we also, sorry. Uh, we also saw the famous animals show where it's like animals that were adopted from, uh, what's it called? Uh, like famous movies. Like they oh, had the bird right. from Ace Ventura apparently. And it's just like the animals just like doing the, stunts on, on set and the like the dog from out. in black too. Like that was, yeah, that was pretty cool actually. Um, and then one of them, was the bird from the mummy? Yeah, it was the hawk. Yeah, like Horus. Yeah, the, the hawk. Yeah. 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 Like, Palmer literally froze for a second. I was like, <laughs> yeah. he's alive. They killed him and the mummy returns, but he's alive here. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> he, like, flies over the It was a nice treat because, like, we walked by and it's like, oh, show starting in 15 minutes. And I was like, well, fuck mm -hmm. it. Let's just check it out because why not? We're already here. Yeah. 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 It was one of those. A lot of things turned out that way. Just being like, well, we're here. We should just. Yeah take advantage of everything and we basically um, saw everything except for like jimmy fallon's new york tour or whatever that's fine yeah 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 <laughs> but oh and men um, in black so I don't, I don't know what that was i honestly wasn't sure what that was oh but... the born uh oh and the too. born thing yeah oh. but those were more like a, they seemed like more live type stuff maybe uh because they didn't have uh what i think i don't know if it's still at hollywood but the terminator one uh there's like a terminator like stunt show kind of thing it's like oh you're watching people act like actors and it's like i am the terminator but i'm not actually the terminator and you're like oh okay cool but yeah no it was, those ones were missable at the same time too like, we got all the essentials i would say for yes sure. yeah yeah no. and then uh, Horror Nights we were, <laughs> and that day when we were we were kind of like saving our energy kind of that day too because we also that same day we got there at the parks at like eight and we only had to like five yes. to like kind of wrap things up because at 6.30, Horror Nights started. Yeah. And we went and got food and we came back and we did Horror Nights from six, like seven o'clock to, to 1 a.m. Yep. And that's where we had the longest line. That's oh, where we actually God. had to wait an hour. But it was all just, it was like four areas you could walk through that were all kind of different. And of course, you walked through the whole park. So we saw them all that's where they like chase you with chainsaws or just have like weird displays and like occult stuff and whatnot, which was super interesting for the overall layout. And then they also had 10 haunted houses along with, uh, I think two or three live shows. Yeah. And we didn't get to check out any of the live shows. Um, but for the most part, I saw eight out of the 10 haunted houses. I want to say I saw a five or six. Yeah. I saw the same amount as Comron basically. Yeah. Cause yeah, we separated when we were walking back. Yeah, we separated, and then when we were walking back, there was, like, no waits for some of them, so we just went right through them. Yeah. Uh, uh, let me say, I'm not someone who gets scared in haunted houses. Like, I, I can get scared at haunted houses, but these, it's just, I don't know. Like, I was glad we did the Horror Night, because fuck it. But, like, they were trying so hard to make sure everybody got through the haunted houses. You're just kind of like an assembly line, just marching through them. Yeah. And, like... You a hundred percent a hundred percent of that because i remember at beetlejuice and at um there was a tooth fairy one that was kind of fascinating and i was just checking it out or i knew a scare was supposed to happen so i wanted to see it happen and then the guy like you know the universal staff would be waving their little wand at me being like keep going probably, keep you moving. gotta be yeah, yeah. scared on your own the, time bucko if you saw yeah, the like, uh, the plastic cover or shield you knew that someone was gonna be behind yeah you. the covid it's, shields that was a big thing you know the covid shields i get it i understand like for sure i'm glad they're being safe 
Uh, but it did kind of like you knew something was going to happen yeah. right there. So you knew when you were missing out on stuff compared to when you didn't think you were missing out. Uh, but, you know, I really – they had – my favorites were Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Bride of Frankenstein. Um, I love the Beetlejuice one, but oh, that Beetlejuice felt more like a music. The Beetlejuice one was really cool. Just because as a Beetlejuice fan, you're having a great yeah, time. Yeah, it was just hilarious. Well, I, I thought it was a better, like, museum than it was, like – Yeah, it wasn't scary at all. Horror. It wasn't scary – at all like none of the scares really got me but i was just like oh my god now you're in this outfit oh my god now you're in this outfit like i was really hyped yeah. like throughout that entire one but um let me just but, say when you guys were off doing your haunted house thing and then uh, i checked up on tiana and then Cameron and i rode that roller coaster oh yeah i forgot what the roller coaster is called but it's like the only actual roller coaster they have there they had it going still that was the thing that was cool they kept it going for the rest of the night because we didn't yeah. get to ride it during the day because it was like hour wait and Cameron and I just said, fuck it, let's get in line, let's ride this thing. It's like 35 it's minutes. A, yeah, it's a roller coaster that never left like 2003. Because you could choose the soundtrack <laughs> of like the music that plays in your like. Have you guys area. heard about the Black Eyed Peas? <laughs> yeah, and it's just like, it's like the biggest hits of like 2001 to 2005, basically. And I was like, yo. They have Roland by Limbus get on here. How could I oh not my gosh. listen to this while riding the roller coaster? And Cameron and I were in the front, and I was like, "Let's do it, dude, Limbus get." <laughs> it was so the, fucking good. I love yeah, that roller coaster was, so much. Just because of that, I was like, "Let's go!" But and also like, the twists missed... and turns it has. Oh my god! Oh yeah, it was god. awesome. It's we were like fantastic. front row, and it's like Limbus get blasting in your ears as you're trying to ride this roller coaster. <laughs> so and that's great. so dope it was so good we got off and it like re like energized me and i was like yes this is like the the cat the top to the night you know like nice i was energized yeah. for i want to say 15 minutes and then i died but one thing i do want to say well actually two things one brandon you 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 say like you know it, the the haunted houses like weren't they they kind of couldn't go full weight because of everything but that said you and kato were both freaking oh, hell the yeah. no, no, hell no 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 out yeah, behind no. me and I, I get terrified at stuff like that no yeah totally the only one beetlejuice is the only one i wasn't like jumping at that's the only one that i was just like oh man check this out and it wasn't until like no even when Kyle no you guys still freaked out had, beetlejuice because like, like, i know there's one specific part that i took great pleasure in that caro did not take great pleasure in Oh, oh, Kato's bad at jump scares. Yeah, like, no I, I cracked up because so like, was... let's just, I'm in the front. You two are right behind me. She, It's like me, then Kato, then you, and then Brandon and Tiana. And would alternate who was behind you. Yeah. Too. Like me and her kept on switching. Because like... it's funny, if you were behind her sometimes, like the very first time you guys were in front, you kept hold. I couldn't tell if you were pushing her into them or if you were holding on to her, but you were still like, you're my shield. And so I think it was a mixture. Of I was both, cracking <laughs> up. And then when I was in front, I'm just like, you know, I sometimes the first one we did too was Texas Chainsaw yes, Massacre. Yes, and I think that was a good kickoff of just like the chain. The it was like, oh my like god! Like that. Yeah, that dude, that terrified me. I was fucking scared. I, I, like I, yeah. I'm walking through, and I'm used to like sometimes certain movies will freak me out. Maybe, but I I remember haunted houses when I was a kid scaring me. But also back then they potentially be like i got your leg and be like oh my god yeah they could like grab at yeah. you but yeah one thing i was pointing out was like it's not scary because with covid and you know i guess the, you know changing with the time you know modern day it's just like it's not necessarily a good thing to do to have like people grab someone in a haunted house because that like, or they got waivers for like, the ones that do like the, the yeah, good ones at least that have better like, quality there could be some legal issues there in which there wasn't anything like that at these haunted houses so it wasn't really scary because nothing really like got closer than like two feet to you yeah but oh, they when we went through i'm like going through and i'm like not nothing scary i'm just like walking through going oh that's neat that's really cool this is awesome and I just kind of look at them face to face when they pop out and be like, oh, all right. And meanwhile, right behind me, I'm hearing like nonstop just screaming. And if it was kind of behind me, I just ha I just would feel these hands just either digging into my shoulders or my sides. And I'm just <laughs> like, oh, there she is. <laughs> <laughs> and Beetlejuice, though, I got a little bit ahead. And I see the giant worm is going to pop out, but I already passed it. And I'm like, 
I look behind me at you guys, and I just go, God, I guess you better come over quick. Come over here right now. You got to make it right now. Perfectly timed it to it. Dude, jumped yeah, that one out, got us. Scared the shit out of y'all, and she was shouting at me. <laughs> it was so <laughs> worth it. I was like, this is so good. I was like, that was... That was the funny part when it was just me and her going through haunted houses. And by that time when we separated, um, I was already buzzed to where I was still jumping when something would come out of nowhere. But not like not the way I was in the first like four houses because the first like four, I was just like totally freaked out um, and just unprepared. And then when I'm with Kato like that much, like and she was making me even more scared. And also the anticipation I was like, oh, God, what's going to happen? But uh I think once I got to Hill House, that's when I wore out, like my energy drained. And after that one is when I like settled. Mm, okay. um, that was like, because that wait was so long. And the Hill House, actually, I just you started were just watching another that show corpse in a house recording. after. Yeah, exactly. I was just, I was dead after that one took all my energy. Um, but I was like so buzzed at the end of like the last few that I was like, no, wait, I got to see the way this guy pops out at you. And it was. <laughs> I guess the Tooth Fairy one wasn't even that scary, like, in retrospect. But I got to focus in on it a bit more. And I was like, damn, this was... I, it was crazy. I've never been through haunted houses like that either. So that was just fun. Yeah. It was it was a lot of fun. I think it was worth it. I think there was one part... I don't know if Brandon... I thought Brandon recorded it. I'm not too sure. But the chainsaw guys in the street, one of them started chasing Gato. And Gato just, like, darted it. And the guy was just chasing her oh, with the chainsaw. Oh, I missed that. Damn. There was also that uh, no one noticed, but there's that guy chasing you, but I ended up chasing him. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like behind him, and he just didn't notice me. So it was. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, Horror Nights was insane, a lot of energy. Um, but we had already spent a whole day at the park. Yeah. yeah. This is still the day thing two. That, like... The thing that killed me is I made the mistake like a big dumbass, and I wore Chuck Taylor's like, like Converse mm, all day. Yeah. And that was a big mistake. I made. Each state I was in for this trip, I made a fatal mistake. Each one, I had one fatal mistake. In Georgia, I forgot to apply reapply sunscreen when I was at the beach. That's when I got burned to shit. Here, I wore the worst pair of shoes on the longest day possible to wear the worst pair of shoes. And I wore these Vans that were completely flat. And I want to say a certain oh, point... Oh, I remember pointing that out. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah. at a certain point through the Horror Night... I'm like, yo, I'm having trouble walking now. and Oh, yeah, the blisters. Yeah, I got these massive blisters. And I didn't know what I thought. I mean, I knew. I, I assumed, like, oh, there must be blisters. But by the like last two to three hours, I was legitimately, like, limp hobbling throughout the rest of everything. Yeah. Like, I was going at a very slow pace. I couldn't keep up with people anymore. I was just like, dude, I my I, it's just a chore to get from place to place. I still did it. I literally went around the entire fucking park for a fucking churro in which it was okay. Mm -hmm. And I was like, fuck, but you know, it was the thought that counts. And I did that all during that pain, just enduring all of it. It it was a great time. Oh yeah. That was, everybody went through something. I feel like on this one, uh, I felt like I was the only one that was like, kind of okay. Like everyone was dying. (laughs) Everyone was dying. In some sort of way. I was just like, I'm good. Let's keep going guys. Like, let's do this. Cause uh, that was, no, 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 go ahead. I would say that was day two of uh, our trip. That was day one of Universal. Um, and we've only hit one day at Disney so far. But our second day at Universal, our third day, Adventure yeah, second day of Universal. Adventure Island, baby. Islands of Adventure. Dude, that was or Islands of Adventure, probably sorry. my favorite day out of the trip. Mine as well, I want to say. I mean, if we're talking like theme parks wise, I think that was because... We got to see that lost generation of Marvel. I gave you the land that time forgot. Yes. <laughs> I told yes. you. We had 90s Marvel land, which was, uh, you know, visually, like, actually, I'm kind of happy about it, but uh, visually astonishing. Like, it took me to, like, my childhood yeah, it's a comics trip. when I was, like, five. Like, that was just dope. And it reminded me of the Universal ads you'd see in comics or, like, on uh, Fox Kids on Saturday yeah. morning or something. Uh, and it just got me so hyped because they also had, you know, Jurassic Park there and stuff, all that type of stuff. But we had but, the fast passes too. Oh yes, this was yeah, this was the, the day, day we had the fast passes as well. Yeah. The only thing that wasn't cool about Marvel Land was that their shops were super lame. Yeah. But I guess licensing and stuff like that. But that was actually a good thing because we didn't spend any money there, or else we would have probably thrown down. Oh, you guys cool both would have thrown stuff. down. I know you. Yeah. 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 Tiana bought like one little statue. It was like a Spider Ham one. 
Yeah, I, I didn't even get anything there. I was just, no, I, I was good it on makes that. You, it, was, it was the first thing we hit up, too. It, it gave you that appreciation that you know, because now everything else, you go anywhere else, and all you're going to get is MCU-themed stuff. Which is, you know, yeah. realistically, it does suck, but it's also fine at the end of the day. I'm not worried. I buy comic book shit all the time. Like Yeah, mm-hmm. but it, not, it's nice like, to have a time capsule to go into. That's yeah, why yeah, I love yeah, Islands yeah, of Adventure. It's yeah. just a, a really yeah. cool, just like, hey, check this out. Yeah. All that uh, Romita art on the one part. And I was going to say, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'll be honest, though. Part of me is kind of glad, like, we're past that part in comics because <laughs> a lot of those comics are not good. Like, oh, yeah. No, yeah, exactly. It, it's the that nostalgia was... for sure, but I was like, Ugh, like. This is where Dr. Doom <laughs> fucked us up, though. It was like we, we got accepted for Dr. Doom because we're like, oh, cool, another drop ride. And then only Brandon and I went on it. We get to the top and we're like, cool, it's going to drop us. And it, like, does, like, uh, does it even drop us? It just kind of shoots like us pumps. to the top. Yeah. And we there's no drop. It just shoots us to the top really fast. We oh, go, wow. oh, here we go. And it just kind of went like, boom. Yeah, it kind of, like I said, it's like pumping the brakes. Yeah, and we were like, oh. that's it? There was nothing. There was no, it was so, yeah. it's something I'll never ride again. And I was like, that oh, trash. Wow. But the Hulk ride. Yeah, the Hulk ride is dope. The Hulk ride was dope. That was my first, like, roller coaster. You know what I mean? So like, good. outside. Like, you know, going through like loops and whatnot and twists. That was so much fun. And that's when I got on that one. I'm glad it was the first thing we did. It was the first, like, immediately, right when we walked into the park, it was just like straight to the whole roller coaster. Yep. Um, and then they had that cheesy spinny one with the, the storm, storm ride. Storm, yeah. yeah. The storm, storm ride. I'm, I'm Charles oh, Xavier, and you're about to run. <laughs> I almost got us kicked yeah. off the ride. <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, because you had your phone out. Yeah, like, and that was fun and cheesy. It felt like a McDonald's, right? Yeah, now, it kicked off the ride. There's like only three other people on, and it's just there's like two other. Yeah, people yeah but you know, it it was nice because it was also that kind of like you know all the rides were awesome. Don't get me wrong, but it was like the one ride where we're like sitting in a circle, just kind of like next to each other. It kept pushing and us like, around though, a little bit there. Like I, yeah. I was like hitting the the freaking side, and I was like, oh my sides, it hurts. Yeah, but I like, was surprised there wasn't even like a seatbelt. Like at <laughs> least the, the they had a toy story one that was very similar but they strap you in <laughs> this one they're just like oh Good wait luck, until man. you get into the teacups at disneyland they don't they don't strap you in at all man you just you just <laughs> oh spin that shit <laughs> but uh yeah it was one of those moments where i felt like i was like 10 years old with my friends at a theme park because we're just kind of like right you know laughing and just like messing around and just like at the ride you know and spider-man it was a nice yeah Oh, Spider Man, yeah, that's great too, because that's like a really. I like, knew you guys were gonna love that ride. I was like, oh, they're gonna stop in. Yeah, it's just it's living through the '90s TV show where it's like, oh, my spider sense is tingling. Hey, Spider Man, we're gonna go. <laughs> the only thing that tripped me out about that ride, I was like, why did they use Scream? Like, yeah, of all the characters. Stuff. Yeah, something like, they, I was just like this feels. They're out. like, we needed a female villain, and so because of that, we didn't use Venom or Carnage. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I, yeah, I guess that'd be the honest answer to be to tell you the truth. But that was dope. And then you know you hit Toon Lagoon, which is all the classic Sunday fun day. You know, I had a Dagwood whatnot, sandwich, uh, which is dope. Like all that type of stuff. I thought that was super nostalgic because I grew up on those. Uh, we hit up King Kong, which was a super fun ride. Uh, very basic and chill. It's kind of like a more advanced version of that Fast and the Furious one, where you're just like in a cart because go through the scene. A portion of that King fight. Kong ride was also at the Backlot Tour. I was like, he did it again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, God damn. <laughs> Only half. And of then it, we hit up. You know, the my honestly, my favorite parts was. Um, oh, it's hard to say my favorites from this day because all three areas are my favorites. But the Jurassic Park land, I just went crazy. Oh, that was I so good. I loved it. I yeah. loved it so much. Cause I, the river ride. We got a picture yeah. with the raptor. Oh, my gosh. We got the raptor, and that the host there was hilarious. Yeah. Like, she got just, me good. She, she fucking yeah. burned me. I was like, God damn. She's yeah, like, you I, use Axe body that, spray? I was like, what? <laughs> She's like, you look like video, you do. <laughs> I put that video in that photo album, Comrade. So. Oh, awesome. Yeah. I was like, why would you oh, say yeah. that to me? <laughs> And, uh, that was uh, great. But the Velocicoaster. Oh my the god, Velocity that was shit. amazing. Let me say, I haven't ridden like every roller coaster in the world, but I've gone to Magic Mountain, I've been to Great America, you know, and all that, and uh like how do I say this? Like I've ridden a lot of roller coasters, you know, and Velocicoaster, I came off that thing like blown away. I was seriously like 
shocked how good it was. It's Raptor fast, man. There's a point where you get to a spot and it just it like slows down and then it's just like yeah, it goes it from like zero off, to sixty. Like, yeah, that was crazy. It was yeah, like and I, I even had a blast at that point. I was like, like of course I'm nervous walking up to it, but once I was on it, I was like, oh my god, yeah, like, that was, was the amazing. coolest thing. Yeah. Um, what else did we hit up there? Uh, then you go into the next Harry Potter land, Hogsmeade, which is Hogwarts. It's Hogsmeade, um, which leads into Hogwarts itself. Which all of that, dude. Being at the three broomsticks was amazing. The pumpkin juice was epic. The pumpkin fizz. Uh, oh my god! The, it was only fizz. there. I I was looking for it, and they're like, "It's only at the three broomsticks." I'm like, "Shit, I gotta go." Yes, well, I also mixed up was... the three broomsticks and the hogshead. That's what got me too. Oh, hogshead was there too. And watching the movies because those are the, what what are in the movies I started watching when we got back. I was like, "Damn, like, this is so fucking epic!" Like I had a total blast there. Got a bunch of candies and whatnot. Uh, as a kid, I always wanted those. Uh, I always call them Burt's Bees because of the chapstick. But the Berry Bots? Uh, the je- yeah. Every the, flavored yeah, bean. Jelly beans. I always wanted them as a kid. I thought they were all exclusive and whatnot. So having them as an adult, I was just like, man, this is dope. Like, but um, that was epic. You know, the rides there were a lot of fun. Um, the hog when you go inside of Hogwarts, I thought we did that twice. We had so much fun. On you guys it. also wanted yeah, to man. see like because I told you guys I was like. Uh, Waiting in line is actually fun because you get to like experience all the, the well, castle itself. Yeah. We went through it the first time to check it out, and then they told us to like put all our belongings away. And Tiana didn't have her phone on her, so I felt really bad because she really wanted to take like you know take pictures of like inside Hogwarts. So that's mm-hmm. how we basically ended up going on a second time too, because I was like, I want to make sure she can get her pictures, you know. Yeah, and that was a cool immersive area. Like for, I wouldn't have mind waiting in that line in general. You know, like that would have been just, it was great how they set all that up and you lead through the school and all that. You know, like if you're a Harry Potter fan, you would just go crazy for that one. And then of course they have that cheesy other Griffin ride, but the other ride on it was the the Hagrid Hagrid's. magical bike or whatever. Damn, that was cool. This one was Dude, new. Was it like, wasn't there the last awesome. time I was there. They got us. It, they got us. Cr- it was so much so fun. Good. I thought it was going to so be just like you're on a motorcycle and you just kind of cruise. Yeah. No. Me too. I was so you, you wrong. blast through it and we we got we got like delayed because uh, a couple of us, uh, Tiana and I had to go put away the stuff at the locker because there was like a hole, it was, the ride was closed, we had to wait for it to open and we caught it like you and Kata went ahead, uh, Brandon waited back to ride with Tiana and it's like I had a sudden realization because like I'm like, wait a minute is this only two people? And everyone's like, yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? And there's like a single riders yeah. thing. And the line's like pretty big, but I just like hopped over to the single rider immediately past everybody. I was literally already on the next thing. I was like, Oh cool. I, I literally didn't wait. It was, it wasn't even five minutes. I just was on there. And then I had to wait for y'all after cause I had already finished so fast. Actually now thinking about it, I probably could have gone on a second time. And then still waited for you guys. <laughs> I think I would I would do that the second time going, but like going through the entire route was so interesting. It's a crazy because route. It keeps going and going. Yeah, and honestly, that one was like a ridiculous amount of like going. Yeah, that was like at a certain point, going. you're like, how many rooms are there? Like this is the third room yeah. we've seen after did, tunnels. Did you hear it broke down recently? Oh really? Yeah. So basically, the ride stopped on like a loop and the people were stuck upside down for like 20 minutes oh dope <gasps> yeah damn I, i'll send you guys the article dude uh, i've been dro- yeah, I've, I've been that. stuck on a drop zone once for 15 minutes at the top and we were <laughs> yeah, <laughs> i was damn. stuck next to a kid i was like me and our uh brandon and i's friend victor and there's a little kid next to us his dad didn't go on so it's just a 10 year old kid and he's shouting to his dad like dad what's happening <laughs> and we we're just like oh fuck <laughs> But that that wraps up that third day. Um, we pretty much hit, oh, and we did some Doctor Seuss stuff, which was just super cute. It was a nice like break. Yeah, yeah. Um, there wasn't like I feel like we got like the most out of it because we went to closing like our last when once we got off of Hagrid's ride, like they closed like ten minutes later. Um, and that was I mean that that's our first three days, which actually worked out. That sounds crazy. It sounds super busy, which it was, and it was all super long. But you know what? Like it all panned out because the next two days were super relaxed. Oh yeah. Um, we went back to Disney. We hit up uh, Animal Kingdom, which was, you know, not only cool because they had so much to check out there, 
but it was just an epic spot like it blended with the avatar stuff and everything um and i think that was probably the second longest line we were in aside from horror night but it was perfect too because animal kingdom i'm like it's saturday everyone's gonna be at star wars land on saturday no like animal kingdom was virtually easy going as hell compared to the last time i was there oh we got to do everything yeah. yeah Yeah, we went around that entire. We looked at it the night before, being like, "I don't think we're gonna have time to go it around it all." It was huge, huge. And then you look at the safari ride, and that's like thirty minutes, and you add, you know, figure out times and all that. But no, smooth. I wish the lion Super- came into just- the car. Oh man, those animals, the safari animals were. Epic. If one of them was yeah, gonna try to like was- pop there, I was gonna help them up and be like, "Hey man, I got this whole row to myself. You want to join in?" <laughs> like I, you guys yeah. were all in the row in front of me. I'm like alone. And I'm sliding left and right, just like getting close to whatever animals on whichever side, just like That's so taking cool. pictures and stuff. There was like a giraffe right next to us. Uh, the cheetahs were there. It was fantastic. And they had uh, what? They had one roller coaster there. Um, oh, the uh, Ever- Mount Everest. Um, yeah, yeah, it was the Mount Everest ride, and that one was cool. And uh, I think because you didn't get you, you didn't go on that one. No, I was warned. Yeah, I didn't go on that one. So it was, I think I went with Kato on that one. And it was that one was actually really cool. I forgot how awesome that one was because how much they put into the design of when you're going through the area. It's like a full-on, like, mm. this is where I get confused. I don't know if it's Nepal or Tibetan uh, for, like, the style of, like, all the different... There's, like, actual real stuff there that's, like, old uh, stuff you'd find in a museum on display. There's also mm-hmm. a lot of cool props and a lot of stuff relating to like the yeti and all the legendary oh, stuff wow. about it and it was so it was like one of those things that got me so i want to say more excited than most other things just because it made me want to just read a book about it it was like one of those things where i'm like oh, oh i want to go on the i want to go on the adventure i want to go to fucking mountain snow and check out stuff like this i want to go see like a village like this it was so much fun that's dope yeah that is super dope and the ride itself um, there the funny thing about the ride itself i learned this was there's there there's a yeti in there and it's been broken for 20 years or something, like 15 or 20 years, because they couldn't fix. It's like a very, it's supposed to be a Yeti with a lot of movement, and it broke within like the first year. And so it doesn't move that much, but the Yeti's built into the ride itself. Like it's built into the structure to where you can't actually alter it without like taking down the entire thing. So they can't take it down. So they have like a Yeti that just has limited movement compared to like what it would be able to do 20 years ago, which is really crazy. Mm. Oh, damn. Oh, wow. That's hilarious, though. That's super cool. That's a cool Don't ride, though, because it catches you off guard the way it moves and like spirals around the mountain and everything. It'll take you to a top and you think like, oh, where are we going now? And it'll take you backwards and then forward and backward again. So you're like, and you're still going on like different routes, too. That's the really cool part. Oh yeah! Wow. Well, it's way more intricate than I imagined because the uh, Hagrid's it ride is kind of like that. Yeah, it's based off yeah. the Disneyland Matterhorn ride. I want to say that also is like it's a different mountain, but it's like Swiss Alps, and there's also an abominable snowman instead of a Yeti. Different. There's a difference, guys. Yeah. But, but uh, oh. Animal Kingdom, like I thought, it was really random. The Avatar stuff's there, but I guess it makes sense. Uh, we got to ride that twice. That was yeah. so. Good. Considering Comron said he waited like four hours for it the first time. No, I didn't. I didn't ever wrote that. I told you my friend did it. Oh, when it first oh, came yeah, out. I wrote that. No, that's why I was so excited. That's why I wanted to go to Pandora so badly. Is because I'd never seen it before. Not yeah. Pandora was yeah, dope. It's crazy. The like, production design of that is... again. The Imagineers yeah. did a great job here, guys. It was so yeah. good. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Seriously, that was immersive and. They kind of scan you and you, they choose you an avatar. Yeah. And you're on this crazy 4D. I love the seating they had for that. Yeah, because it makes it, it feel like you're actually riding the thing. Mm hmm. Like it was, it was, that was one of my favorite rides. That for sure was super cool. That one and that dinosaur ride we were on. Oh, dinosaur? <laughs> oh, dinosaur. Oh, it was <laughs> dinosaur? Yeah. <laughs> it came out around the same time as the movie Dinosaur. So you're like looking for the same exact dinosaur. And there's like well, a carnotaur. We looked into oh. it because uh, I wrote it twice to because I wrote it with Tiana and she looked into like the details of the ride. Apparently, they made that ride so they can make the movie, kind of like Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, really? Yeah, something like that, where they made the ride Damn. and then the movie was inspired by the ride. Like oh, very fast that. after it was like the fastest moving one because you know like the other ones came years after the rides were already in existence. This one came like back to back. Yeah, in it terms was of like planned that way. Yeah, that's cool. The dinosaur one was cool. I thought it was fun. Definitely. And the cool thing about it too is it was it's like it's dark. 
it's all like night looking stuff so that's what made yeah. it even more interesting and everything else and i think the whole time through it we were kind of half making fun we were just like whoa 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 just <laughs> yeah, like yeah <laughs> the dinosaur over exaggerating yeah. even on the picture on that one i was like adjusting the mat my mask but I w- it looked like i was like pondering as i looked at the camera for that picture it was just it's one of the they have that t-rex ones, yeah. that pops up when it takes the picture and you're just like oh yeah you were good like, <laughs> Yeah, and it uh, looks like there's gonna be a drop and you're just like oh there was that was there it. was no drop yeah. that was it yeah. <laughs> that's the end of the ride like that was just the end <laughs> and then uh there was that big ass tree in the middle that was, tree was there the anything middle. about Crazy. that is there anything important about there's that there's a tree? bug's life right oh yeah yeah the bug right that's that's it. more important yeah. that's more important yeah wait what was the bug's <laughs> life ride i don't even remember that there was the 3d show oh, that was a theater it was, uh, oh, it's yeah. tough to be a bug yeah 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 where like the bug goes up your ass like while you're sitting and then it pokes you in the back. Like, yeah, it it's a great experience for the whole it, family. Like, you. Yeah, you just yeah, like, oh man. Yeah. yeah, I cracked up. You guys were like, why are the seats wet? And it like hit me, and I'm like, don't worry about it. <laughs> oh yeah, I was like, ill. Why the fuck are the seats wet? Don't worry. Yeah, to me, know. I was like, oh, it's raining. <laughs> Dude, that was that was so much fun. That was a super cool thing. Yeah, but. Yeah, we wound up, we, you know, kind of wrapped up the day and whatnot, and I proposed to my girlfriend that you guys hear about so much, thanks to the help of you two. So that was dope. Uh, You guys knew about it before the trip, and um, it it was very well planned. She was very shocked. We did In Front of the Tree of Life, and you guys got pictures and videos, and it's been super, it was dope. It was just such a cool time, and such a cool time to choose it for this trip, too. Yeah. So it was, it was super sweet. Uh absolutely just mind-blowing and then afterwards you know we all hung out got dinner and stuff like that so that that was just uh, it was cool doing that and you know i it worked out because the first four days of the trip out of the five days we were there it was all us just having fun together like and we didn't want to make the trip about us or that event we just wanted to be part of it so i feel like us having fun up to that point was just the best like the best move it wasn't like over none of our fun was overshadowed by this other enormous event, which is super cool, you know, That's like why I, a whole I, hour and a half. I plan, I plan those days. I told you, I was like, "Yo, Dude, yeah. fourth day, Animal Kingdom, it'll be great." I, I, I do want to say really fast because, like, I, I, I was like, "Oh, right, this park this day because it'll be near the end, but not Epcot. We'll be drunk." Mm-hmm. And then we get there, and then she's like, "I don't know about zoos. I don't know how to feel about the animals." And I'm like, "Oh, yeah, oh fuck, like, oh, yeah. Shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah." I got so yeah. worried, and then the tree was like, "Oh, but the the whole legend within." And she starts talking about, it, and I'm like, "Fucking saved!" I I called the shit. Yes, I was like, oh, thank dude, God. I felt the same yeah. way because Kat was not a big fan of zoos because she doesn't like you know the animals being captive and stuff like she that. She tried to. But... There, there's actually, if you look in the news, she tried to break out animals multiple times in her youth of uh, so in high school. In yeah. Paso you know <laughs> but and like the tree of life is associated with her uh, i forgot what it's called it starts with a b it's like a buka tree or whatever something like that the but, bubla um, tree it's a, uh, the, the great tree. hebrew uh tree oh, of <laughs> jewiness yeah mel brooks has a joke but it's also from the little prince her favorite story so we found you know all of us were kind of scouting out all day of like keeping our eyes peeled for like a good spot because that was our mission to be like all right we know it's going to happen we got to find a good spot to do it and then there was a certain point we found our spot and we were like guys this is perfect like and like Kamran rushed and did stuff in the behind the scenes and brandon helped me keep everyone distracted and he was holding the ring the entire day that day um he had to carry he was frodo for that entire trip I was. Um, sure the, the ring. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we did it and it was it's super dope and then of course roll around our last day there sunday epcot uh perfect Challenge way accepted. to end the trip I, it was Colorado's, the chillest start Colorado was literally <laughs> passing out from the amount of food he ate i'm like bro chill you don't have to do this i need to go <laughs> around the world <laughs> so we we had all kind of bargained to be like all right we got to get try to get something from everywhere you know uh, every country and i think it was very like we were very capable of doing it um but they had a wine and beer festival so there was added Even countries more, yeah. throughout the park yes and so then it was like damn and maybe like halfway ha- no for sure halfway through we were all just like Fuck. well we I, had time we had time yeah it was like the constant stopping for food and it was also we got there pretty late we 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 like we got there late we didn't come well, at dude, opening. after a week it was rough. i know was i know like, but that's yeah, like oh, we had yeah, to account yeah. for that too but it was like uh i had planned 
to do the entire thing. I've been talking about it before the trip. I'm like, yo, around the world, Epcot. And then my friends are like, yo, there's a beer and wine festival. And I'm like, oh, fuck. And so I proceed to order (laughs) from each country and each stand beer and food. So I get one of each. And so the drinks aren't killing me. I'm not even drunk. I'm just dying from the amount of food I keep eating. And I'm like, am I going to keep it down? Am I going to keep it down? And I'm like, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. All right, next place. <laughs> Just keep going. You did, was you did the... eat us the tag in. Yeah, for at a certain yeah. point, Tiana came in like clutch of just like I can't eat the pot. I need to take the fucking whatever the fuck <laughs> pasta this is. Eat it. I I had three bites. The rest is for you. <laughs> I feel like we could have done the whole park if it wasn't for the wine and beer. Festival. Oh yeah, that, yeah, that's oh, yeah. slowed us down yeah. easily. We literally stopped to drink and sit at a table, and then go to the next one. Stopped. To yeah. Drink at a table, and then the next one. It was I like needed to rest. Twenty minutes. <laughs> if it intervals. wasn't, if it was just the standard countries, I think we would have done it and flew through it pretty well. But it was fun nonetheless, yes. and it was a perfect ending because, you know, right when we got the, uh, Brandon and Tiana beat all of us because um, we, we were just fucking compelled into getting everything. Kato was on a mission to get pinned, so we were hunting those down. It turned to the whole ordeal at the end. Um, but we all met up at right 10 minutes before it closed, and we found a perfect spot by, like, the lake, and we got to see the wonderful fireworks display. And that just wrapped up our entire trip. It wrapped up our entire adventures. Yeah, like it we... was like the perfect send off into like it, it ended. That was it. Yeah. You know? No, it was it was literally magical because, you know, they had this fireworks show that was all themed with like music and all this you know, all this design that went into it. And it was just yeah. kinda like you know, I I didn't I teared up a little, not because of the show or anything, but like we were standing there and I was like you know, I I got to go with Tiana finally because we always talked about going to like some sort of Disney theme park together because mm-hmm. we both never have gone. And you know, Com- oh, same here, me and Caro, same thing. Yeah, we've always wanted to check it out. And like you know, originally, just a quick point: this was supposed to be my trip when I graduated way back in February. We were gonna go, and like even if it was just Caro and I, we were gonna make this trip. And that's why we kind of brainstormed and we're like, hey, we wanted to go to Florida to do all this. And that's what kickstarted all of us onto it. Yeah. And it was just coincidence that it all lined up. And it was it was perfect. Both of us realized when while we discussed it, it was like, this will be both of our first time going yeah. to it. And, you know, Comron, since like high school practically, was like hyping it up that we need to go together. And, you know, it was always just like, yeah, we'll do it. And then, you know, you and I always talking about hanging out. And it was just yeah. like years since we last seen each other in person. And it was just like, you know, like, you get like these pent up emotions. I was like, man, I love you guys. And it was just like, we we're all it's there great. finally. And we, we got through the week and it was like vacations done, but we did it. Yeah, exactly. We finally got our, I mean, I think you guys were in the same boat, but I haven't gotten a vacation in two years. Same. Since... I haven't gone yeah. well before COVID. Yeah. Yeah. Last thing I yeah. did was like yeah. a, a wedding in January, right before like two months before quarantine. <laughs> yeah. Started. I went to New York like a, in January beforehand. Mm-hmm. I think mine was like the September before, um, but I was so focused on school. We didn't do a trip beforehand and we were, we were planning on one right after, you know, we were supposed to go in like June or uh, May, but COVID hit. So that, would, that got canceled. So it was crazy. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and we would have all hung out probably sooner before this, but it, it actually, I feel it worked out better this way because of COVID, because of the restrictions, because yeah. of, the, you know, yeah. timing. And for the record, we were safe. You know, we masked up, you know, we, yeah. We all got, you know, like we all made sure that we were good to go and we, you know, got COVID tests when we got back just to make sure. Mm-hmm. Like I did too. Like I was like, yeah, yeah we all got, yeah, yeah we all tested negative. Uh, but I, I will say there were, you know, some, there were still some characters that walked around the place. So I did attempt to lick them uh, just because <laughs> I was vaccinated. So I felt entitled as a paying customer that I could still do this. <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no i i had no problem saying that was probably like the best vacation i ever had i don't know if that says much about the vacations i've taken or what but like no it was it was like so huge in proportion i've done some crazy stuff for vacations and definitely in my like the top vacation i've done because it was just with friends it was just going all out it was just you know nothing held back and every minute was just 
for well, I mean, at least for me, fear and excitement, yeah, <laughs> and just like extreme amount of joy and nostalgia, and like, dude, it was just, it was insane. Yeah, it was, you know, yeah. I and watched my yeah, kids really, go to the first magical. Disney park. Oh boy, <laughs> yeah. And we didn't even go into like full detail of like all the rides we went on and all the different food we tried, or like the basically like how we were roommates for a week, you know. Yeah, like y'all kept oh, walking yeah. into my room so many times. Everyone just kept coming into my room. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, people, what, doing odd things. It was just <laughs> crazy. And you know, even though we were farther from the park than we expected, those like Uber drives in the morning helped me nap out and charge up. So, oh well, yeah, that's I the other thing that's it. crazy is that was the cheapest place I could find, or like best middle ground. You know, like yeah, oh yeah, we were hunting for a bit. You know, um, but you know, it's cool. It was a very much a learning experience. So if we ever do this again, we definitely know some ins and outs and like what to attack, what to skip, what to you know double back for. You know, it was what days to get fast passes, all that type of stuff. Yeah, it was perfect it was just and you know i just feel we're fortunate to be able to do i don't think anyone else was would have been able to do everything we got to on a trip like this. oh yeah. i think that's why you know why we want to do the episode because everyone else every story i've heard and you know Kamran and you guys can attest to it because this is my first experience there but you can't do the whole park every single ride for us to only miss out on rides because it rained oh, I, I think every park we only missed out on maybe Two? like one to three three right yeah. yeah like max you know and, and we even doubled up some days yeah. so as a and, as yeah. an example uh the last moment to universal studios hollywood which was maybe a couple years ago or three years ago uh i maybe only got to go on four things because it was so crowded like that's kind of yeah. that was like in relation to like well, this is how different things were and that's how it's a yeah. learning experience because now we know the kind of sweet spot of time of year to go because yeah I would never go in the summer because fuck that shit with the heat and yeah. the sun. Hell no. But like, no. you know, you go during like a conventional work week, school week, and it's like a little emptier. And, you know, it just helps us gear up for the next one, which is going to be Anaheim eventually. They, and, so these guys have yeah. had their experience, but they haven't had the true Disney experience, which I, I still owe Brandon a Mickey Mouse hat, which is no. What better place to do it than the wonderful world of Disney where Walt Disney himself would ride around Designed in his, it. Yeah. Uh, fire truck every morning. So, and yeah, no, and I'm someone who likes to, you know, against a certain habits. And like, for me, I was like, this has to be like our new tradition. We just check out every theme park, you know, like we make it a goal to just try out all the different ones that are available. Yeah. And then there was uh, magic. I can't wait to it go to insane. Dubai and do that. The DC park oh, there. The, 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 the DC park. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah, yeah. I came to the Middle That's East true. for this. Uh, I wonder where I would be Batman. <laughs> <laughs> but that wraps it up for our Disney trip. We just wanted to share this crazy, amazing adventure with you all. Um, it was a total blast, and we can't wait to do it again. And I think we're all just barely recovering from it. So, whew. But um, that wraps it up on our. I think this is episode like ninety five or something on the road to one hundred. Yeah, uh, it's coming up close. So keep your eyes peeled for uh, some cool stuff coming up. Still, we got six more episodes to our one hundredth episode mm-hmm. and our third year anniversary. Um, we'll get something spooky going on too for October. So just keep your eyes peeled for that. I'm scared. Uh, and we should be. Scared. Let me just say, I know this isn't the typical episode we'd usually do but you know it was a vacation it was super exciting we just wanted to like share the experience just, and it was know. still comic book related there's still, yeah there was marvel there's still there was there. marvel land and uh, i'm pretty yeah, sure they made some comics for avatar uh they did eventually make some comics for like haunted mansion and like pirates there of the caribbean Muppets things. Comics. is there yeah, fast yeah. and furious comics <sighs> you don't no, actually I don't, I don't think that. so I don't, I don't think they want to do that i mean transformers of course it's hard to put uh, family into I a can... comic i'm gonna be honest Yeah, I know. I can't see anything. <laughs> Thank God. Don't torment. <laughs> Anywho, I, I don't think I'd actually get it. But maybe I would. <laughs> you would. Shut up. Uh, thank you, everybody, for hearing us just go crazy and just kind of hang out and talk about our trip. Yeah. Come on. Give us a quick plug. Yeah, you can find me at uh, Sutra Side Talk where... Uh, nice. Uh, All right. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. Uh, every week we come out with a new episode where we talk about uh, what we've been playing and watching along with a couple pieces of news our most recent episode was the uh, PlayStation 5 showcase we talked a lot about that uh, we also got Sutra Sidewatch every other week where Brandon Blockstorff and I talk about movies we just finished our Mel Brooks month so 
check that out. That's why we had that Hebrew talk earlier. Jews in space. Yeah, Jews in space. Uh, and then October, we got Vampires with Nosferatu and the original Universal Dracula movie. And I'm reading the book. Yeah. It's good. It's good. It's really good. I can't put it down. Oh, it's that's really actually great. really cool. I really love it. Yeah. And then uh, Cut of Steel, uh, we come out once a month. And uh, actually, right after this, Brandon Moncada and I are going to do an episode about DC Comics, their current state, and everything else about it. Uh, and the oversaturation of Batman, maybe a little bit. And uh, we also got up to it, down to it, where that's also trying to be monthly. Uh, the last one we had out uh, was about conventions. Uh, so that's a fun episode to take a look at, too. Nice. But yeah, on all podcast platforms. And check us on Instagram and Twitter at Sutra Side Talk. And nice. TikTok. And check out our... Yeah, check out our TikTok too. We have some uh, new one minute reviews going up this week. So check yeah. it out for those. Yeah. And then uh, let me just throw in there, like, you know, as usual, Paul City Comics, where you can get everything comic book related. But uh, make sure to check out thirdplanet.news. That's our little, uh, I guess you could say, cousin oh site hosted by Danny Benson himself. Uh, I'm going on there and writing the Shang-Chi review. Did I say that? Ooh. Did I say it properly? I thought it was like Sean, because it was supposed to be like Sean, so isn't it like Shang-Chi? Shang-Chi? I think it's Shang-Chi. Yeah, I think it's Shang-Chi. It made me want to say it correctly after watching the movie, right? I was like, shit. I I think I've been saying it wrong. Well, I apologize if I I think everyone's, but everyone thinks it's Shang-Chi, though. That's the thing. Yeah, 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 but either way, I apologize. Uh, We saw the movie in theaters. We saw an IMAX Cameron. And uh, I'm writing the review up there where you could also catch my Black Widow review. So make sure to check that out soon. The site's been on pause for a bit because Danny's been taking care of some personal stuff. But uh, we should get some more content on there eventually. But make sure to look out for a review and our new podcast series just of kind of like Comron stuff. But just Danny and I talking about video games we've been playing lately. Nice. Hell yeah. Uh, It's a nice perspective because I play a lot and Danny doesn't play a lot. So we kind of just compare the two. But yeah. Uh, make sure to check that out. Cool. Well, guys, thanks for hanging. Yeah. Thanks for having me.